Hello everyone. So this is Kumar here. I'm again back with another Wednesday talk. So this time it is on the COBOL in real world. I'm going to give uh, uh, information about how the COBOL is used in the real life projects and how COBOL can be integrated with other systems and uh, performance tuning and so on. Right. So let's get started. So COBOL in real life projects. So so as you all know, like uh, I have created multiple videos on the COBOL site. So, so maybe uh, you can watch if you need some detailed information about uh, the COBOL specific to the coding site. So this is something on the uh, different side. So where I'm going to explain how it, we are using the COBOL in the real world. Okay. So with starting with the banking system. So uh, as you can see in the slide, so there are different uh, domains like banking, insurance, government, supply chain, financial, health, and uh, there are some other insurance companies or healthcare and the retail, so where the COBOL is being used. Specifically, when talking about the banking system, the COBOL is extensively used in banking industry for managing transactions, customer information, and uh, account balances, and there are several other modules too. And coming to the insurance claim processing, the COBOL programs are written to process insurance claims, validate policy details, and calculate the payout amount. So this uh, it requires a lot of huge volume of data. As you know, uh, in most of the countries, uh, every and especially in the USA, so every individual person need to hold the insurance, right? So you can imagine each individual citizen or each individual uh, immigrant or non-immigrant who is staying in USA, so they should have this insurance, okay? So the data would be obviously the more. So we need a large processing system or the program like uh, the COBOL uh, is used a lot, right? Okay, uh, then next talking about the government system. Government is, uh, I can say like COBOL is used in various government systems for social security tax calculations and other government related processing. If you remember when COVID uh, hit, so uh, most of the government system that they were running uh, at the back end to process all things was COBOL, right? Okay, then next uh, thing is about the supply chain management system. So the COBOL programs can be written to manage the supply chain track inventory levels and generate reports. And in the financial system, COBOL is used in financial systems for managing investment securities and other financial transactions. Okay, so so that is that is how uh, it's been used and and also we have like healthcare i can say i mean when i talk about the insurance the, that comes into the healthcare and not only healthcare there are several other insurance uh, claims that can be used uh, by the cobol okay so talking about the retail retail companies uses cobol to manage inventory sales customer data and the the cobol is especially well suited to handle the large volume of data and uh, complex business logic make it an ideal choice for the retail applications right okay so that's about the little introduction about this so i'll give the sample structure of uh, just to understand like just to recall so the structure of the cobol like we have as you all know like we have different divisions like identification uh, environment uh, data procedure and uh, so, and so on right so identification is used to identify the program who is who is the author when the date is written and and so on the environment describes the runtime environment for the program including the input and output files the data that is processed and the hardware and software requirements if if you want to write then we can write then talking about the data division describes the data that is to be processed including the record structure and the file organization and then talking about the procedure divisions contains the actual processing logic and the operation of the program including the input output statement arithmetic operation control structures and so on the entire procedure uh, resides here right let's talk about the features the features is uh, it's it's easy to read uh, we can do a data manipulations and have we have the high level constructs file file handling and for portability so this is like uh, when it's easy easy to read so it's english like language and it's uh, it has a very good syntax and which is which makes programmers very uh, easy to write the code and we can easily understand and data manipulation cobol is designed for handling large amount of data and provide powerful data manipulation features such as arithmetic operations data sorting and merging 
and provides high-level programming structures such as like arrays, tables, strings, which makes it easier to write large-scale applications. So file handling, uh, rich file handling capabilities including sequential, indexed, record level locking, and uh, dynamic file processing. So portability, the so COBOL code can be run in variety of platforms including mainframes, mini computer, personal computers, and so on. Right. So people may be imagining, uh, assuming that the COBOL is only written on the mainframe. No, it's not the case. So COBOL is run on the AX system. COBOL is run on mainframe. COBOL can be run on the personal computers and so on. If you are uh, sometimes, uh, I mean, many of the colleges still they are teaching COBOL as a as they're in their curriculum, right? Okay, so that's about the COBOL features uh, and uh, talking about the applications. So I have listed a few of the applications like uh, one of the first thing is about the payroll management system. It calculates and maintains the employee salaries and other benefits. For example, ADP. Uh, the next we have the banking system. So it handles transactions and manages customer accounts, loans and credit card details. And then we have inventory management systems like it tracks and manages the flow of goods and supplies in a company. Then we have sales and order management system. It processes and tracks sales orders, manages customers data and generates reports. Student information systems. Yeah, I have just mentioned it here just uh, uh, just for an example. So especially as I said, like many of the colleges, they are teaching COBOL as well from many years. So just to have that place so i have written there so it manages students records tracks their academic performance and generate reports and uh, talking in detail about the cobol health insurance how it is used so talking about the module wise and some of the subscribers have uh, asked me about to explain about give me the overview of health insurance domain as well so i'll be creating another video on that uh, and and I have created earlier on the banking domain. So if you haven't watched that, so you can just watch it that I have given a clear information about what is a banking domain and so on. Okay, now talking about the COBOL health insurance. So we have, we'll be having a different modules here. So when we talk about the specific to the enrollment process, so which is a very starting beginning of any of the insurance, if you're taking any health insurance, that enrollment and membership will be the first module to hit. So in enrollment, a program to enroll new customers into health insurance plan, it would gather information such as personal details, medical history and policy preferences and so on. And talking about the COBOL health insurance, specifically about the premium calculations, there are a set of programs uh, written to calculate the premium amount based on the customer information, medical history and the policy preferences. And then we have the COBOL health insurance model for the claim processing. Uh, we have many COBOL programs written uh, in a health insurance project. So a COBOL uh, program to process claims submitted by the customer, it would validate the claim against the customer policy and calculate the amount payable. Then talking about the policy management, a program to manage customer policies, including policy renewals, policy updates, and policy cancellation. And then we have billing and payments. Uh, uh, there are a set of programs to handle billing and payments uh, for pay, premium payments and then finally we have the reporting a program to generate various reports such as like premium collection reports claim reports policy reports and so on all these programs would interact with the database to store and retrieve customer and policy information they would interact with other systems to exchange data and update the status of claims and policies and so on so this is how it is being used in the real time if you're working in a health insurance definitely you would be coming across any of this module that i have listed here okay now let's okay health insurance fine so can you also explain about the cobol banking application yes that's the next one okay so talking about the COBOL banking application, so as you all know, like COBOL provides a stable, scalable and secure environment for large and complex financial system. So making it an ideal choice for the banking industry. So that's been, that's the main reason from decades and decades. So and the next decades as well, though still the COBOL will be used in the banking application. Okay, so talking about the different uh, modules like account management system. Account management system, these systems are used for managing customer accounts, including deposit accounts, loan accounts, and credit card accounts. Then talking about the payment processing system. These systems are used for processing payments and transactions, including ACH, that is automatic clearing house transactions, check processing, wire transfers, and card transactions, okay? And talking about the loan processing system, these systems, I can say like used for processing loan applications, calculating loan interest, 
and managing loan accounts and then we have like ms or in investment management system uh, these systems are used for managing investment like including mutual funds stocks and bonds okay so finally the cobol uh, banking uh, and banking reporting and analytics system these systems are used for generating financial reports analyzing data and providing management with insights and decision making information so like that there are several reports that can be created and later on that can be sent to a different systems overall i can say like cobol is widely used in banking industry due to its stability scalability and security making it reliable choice for the financial applications okay talking about the cobol integration so uh, the many people might be talking about so about the java dotnet web services apis and everything so uh, there are several integrations that's been going on and uh, many of them projects have been already in place so yes so, so these are the several integrations that has been happen and happening and cobol can be integrated with other programming language and uh, technologies to create a powerful and efficient applications i can say so the first one when i talk about the cobol and java the cobol can be integrated with java to access cobol data and functionality from java applications or to access java functionality from cobol applications anything vice versa that is possible and then cobol and dotnet the cobol can be integrated with dotnet to access cobol data and functionality from dotnet applications or to access dotnet functionality from cobol applications anything and uh, talking about the cobol and databases cobol programs can access and manipulate uh, data stored in databases uh, such as like sql server sybase ibm db2 so when i'm talking about the cobol and databases it's not only specific to the zos it can be on the windows aix and the zos right so if you're running something cobol on the windows so you can interact with oracle system and get the database or you can interact with a sybase or a sql server you can interact with them and you can get the database and if you are specifically running on the ibm aix yes you can access the different uh, sql server sybase and then fetch the information but when you're running on the zos on the mainframe system you will be having only the db2 and obviously you will be having a vzam database or the flat flat files there right okay and the next we have the cobol and web services cobol programs can access and consume web services allowing integration with other applications and systems over the internet right okay so that was about the cobol integration so now let's talk about the cobol performance tuning and techniques okay uh, the performance tuning in cobol mainly involves reducing the execution time of a cobol program and improving its efficiency why this performance tuning is required right so this is the reason i repeat that the performance tuning in cobol mainly involves reducing the execution time of a cobol program and improving its efficiency maybe there may be a cobol program which is written 10 years back and it is running for 15 to 20 minutes but as the days go on like we wanted to tune the performance of that particular program so what are the different ways we can reduce the time of the execution time of that cobol program so it's very important we know the techniques and we need to understand so then you can tweak some changes into this so the first thing or the first part of the first important thing that we need to look at is the data structure we have to proper uh, we have to make use of the proper use of the data structures such as arrays uh, tables that can help to reduce the execution time of a uh, cobol program so just if you're analyzing that particular program so then make sure what kind of an arrays they are using what kind of the tables or uh, so if you are trying to make some changes to that structure right so maybe if they are they may be not be using the some comp variables or they may be using a single uh one dimensional arrays or can we use two dimensional arrays or remove that so, so that way we can uh increase the performance okay so there are several programs that we can identify why because the programs are not being updated from several years so here is a chance that so whenever you get any enhancement to that specific program just try to look at the structure of data structure especially and try to check that and you can do the modifications and then talking about the file design uh, so the good file design with optimized record lengths 
key structures and indexing can significantly improve the performance so maybe they may be using a sequential so why can i why can't i use an index to file based instead of reading from the flat file so why can't you introduce a vzam files and then you can change that and you can increase it so otherwise you can bring everything the data to the db2 tables and increase the performance so that's how you can do it and the next selecting the right access method so obviously so whenever you have to make sure choosing the right access method such as like sequential random dynamic can have a significant impact on performance so so this is another important uh, point to be considered so then the next thing is uh, avoiding uh, redundant calculations so reusing previously calculated values instead of recalculate them can save uh processing time and improve performance and we can also do a minimizing io operations reducing the number of hits to the input or number of hits to the output file uh, can also improve performance and then using and uh, i can say like uh, using uh, then finally uh, code maintenance so the regular code maintenance and tuning can help to improve performance overall time and there are also other options like the compiler options compiler options such as like optimization inline expansion and object size can be used to improve performance so these are the overall uh, i can say i'm mean, not overall so these are the few which i know and just trying trying to share here so i have been using that so so this this will really help them uh, help you uh, uh, to increase the performance tuning in the cobol programs yeah it's not just that whenever you're working on a specific program just try to take some time and don't don't rush uh, to uh, complete the program compile and deploy to the production just just whenever you get a chance to enhancement request i mean sometimes uh, when mm, we may get a few changes right so it may be just one line code change you may get it but uh, especially in the beginning the journey uh like if you have an experience like 2 to 3 years or maybe you just started just you may get a simple programs but better to analyze the entire program and see how it is written and and then you will have a more information and that's an opportunity for you guys uh, to understand the complete uh, cobol program and get familiar with that okay and yeah just make a point on this make a note on this whatever i have discussed so definitely this will really help you okay i can say like that's it uh, for this wednesday talk so i hope you have given a good information about uh, how cobol is used in real life and let's re recap like what we have discussed so far so we started with uh, uh, the cobol real life in projects uh, how in in different domains where it is used and then we have seen the scoball structure like identification environment data and procedure division and then we recap like about the cobol features and then we discussed about the cobol application examples like the different the systems where we have been using it and then we talked in detail about the different modules where cobol can be used in a health insurance and then we have discussed about the cobol banking applications in detail about the different modules that we can come across where the cobol has been used and also we have seen the cobol integration then performance tuning finally okay so that's it guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you do like this video please kindly please do subscribe and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're you still watching it so i kindly request you to please do subscribe so and give a thumbs up or like button there so that would motivate me a lot and that makes me feel like you have liked the video or if you don't like something so please do or if you are interested to know something about more in a bit specific to the main frame just do uh, post the comments in the comment section so that i'll know and i'll try to make some videos on it okay so thank you so much and have a wonderful day